We should be fine this far out. Put him down. This world you love so much. No matter who becomes my enemy, no matter what I must sacrifice. You have done well. So let us fight together until the day comes when your soul will shine again. This is goodbye for now. The story of Elcras the Hero Once upon a time, there was a god on the moon. The people worshipped this god. And soon, a kingdom was founded. The Kingdom of Regnant. While the kingdom thrived, the people's faith in God dwindled. God despaired over this and sent an army of angels down to earth to punish the faithless. Until one boy, Elcrest, stood up. Elcrest journeyed to where God resided, the moon, and gave his life to quiet it. Saved by his sacrifice, the Regnant Kingdom now regards and praises him as a hero. The end. And that's all for today. I'll continue the rest tomorrow. Aww! Tell us more about the hero Elcrest! Then... Wake up early and come to the square again tomorrow! Okay! okay. Oh, right! Have any of you seen Alto? I saw the photos first this morning! Hunting again? Sheesh. I wonder if this is a good spot. Jackpot! Today is a special day. I'm bringing you home no matter what. Alto! 
Lisette! How many times have I told you you can't go so deep into the... Huh? Not the best situation, but oh well. Stay behind me, Lizette. They're coming! Here I go! I'll go! The first attack's mine! I'm ready. This is a 
Payback! It's my turn. It's my turn. This is payback! gets a bite too. Huh? Hey, wait for me! Hello, Mayor Bogan. My, you're carrying a lot. It looks like your hunt went well. Yes, it was quite the haul. Here, this is for you. Blessings from the forest. We must give thanks to the hero elk. We were just running out of jerky. Appreciate it. You got all this yourself? Impressive. I was just lucky today. I had advised against it when Rosa took you in three years ago. But we should have kept you if we knew you'd become such a fine hunter. No doubt about that. How about it, Alto? You should marry my daughter Mina. Come on, Mina is eight. I don't think you're good enough for Mina. What's that supposed to mean? Who knows? Why don't we let these two head home? Rosa must be waiting. We're home! Welcome back. Ah, so Lizette was with you as well. Listen to this, Mom! Alto went too far into the forest to hunt and... Alto's a boy, dear. He should be allowed to do that sometimes. Besides, today's a special day. Special? Do you mean... It's your birthday, you know. So we wanted to hold a feast for tonight. Wow, you remembered. So, what do you think? <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. B but still, you shouldn't go so deep into the forest. If something happened to you, I... Uh-huh. I couldn't sleep at night. What does that even mean? <laughs> Well, we're having a feast, aren't we? Go rest up until it's ready. Here you are. The main dish tonight is steak. It's cooked rare, just how you like it. I think we have everything ready. Now, 
Let's give our thanks to the hero elf for this meal. Great! I'm so hungry I could... Um... Huh. <laughs> Lizette? You're the one who made this stew, right? It's apparent, isn't it? Really, really apparent. I wonder why everything you make turns out purple. She should be making it exactly how I taught her, though. Get it right for sure today. Well, it's all right. Looks aside, your cooking tastes fine. Really? Of course. Well, have seconds and thirds then. Yeah, let's dig in. Oh, I'm stuffed. I don't even want to look at steak for a while. I think I'll swing by Lizette's room and. You awake? Yeah, I am. Come on in. I don't think I thanked you properly for today. No need. We're family. It's only natural to do nice things, right? I know that. But still, let me say it. Thank you, Alto. You're very welcome. Anyway, I was just on my way to see you. What about? I was going to say happy birthday. And I wanted you to have this. This pendant? It's the one I had on me when you saved me, Lizette. This is the only thing I have that I can give you. No. I can't accept this. Sorry. Not your taste, huh? It's not that. This is the only clue you have to finding out who you are, right? It's all the more reason for you to keep it. You accepted me as family three years ago when I had no memories. And you gave me my name. That is precious to me. I don't think I can ever repay you or Miss Rosa. So, I no longer have a need for this. What do you mean you don't need it? This village is my home, and you and Miss Rosa are my family. That won't change, even if my memories return. I don't miss them. That's why I want you to have this. I see. So, will you accept it? Of course. I'll treasure it. Whoa, it looks nice on you. <laughs> Thanks. Today was the best birthday ever. Thanks, Alto. Good night, Lizette. See you tomorrow. Now, let us begin with your very own story. Mm. What's that sound? A bird chirping? No. Is it someone's voice? It's definitely human, and coming from the forest, huh? It's this way. The voice is closer now, but who is... So you're the one. Who are you? You. Hey, what was that? I've never heard such a nice sound before. Answer my question first. Who are you? I'm Alto. I'm from the village of Mithra. Alto, hmm? Strange name. <sighs> That's a little rude to someone you just... That was a song. Huh? I was answering your question. A song? Like... a song you sing? But if you can sing, then who... Hilda. That is my name. Hilda. 
If you don't mind, would you sing that song again? You want an encore? Yeah. No one around here can sing. It was really beautiful. You don't know anything, do you? What do you mean? Long ago, God took away song as punishment for mankind's arrogance. Only supernatural beings can sing now. Witches. Even children know this. Oh yeah. Lizette told me about that. Um, wait. Then does that mean... So, you're a witch? Who can say? By the way, I think you should run. Why? Can't you tell? They'll be here soon. Are those beasts? You're right. They're not beasts. They're monsters. M monsters Alto, was it? If you don't want to die, sit back and watch. Uh, hey! You're going to fight them? Didn't I tell you to stay back? I can't let a girl fight by herself! Don't be so arrogant. You can't defeat them. Right back at you! I'm the best hunter in the village! Very well. Then you can watch from over there and behold my magic. My time has come. I'll go. My time has come. Darkness will swallow you! What? what was that? That monster disappeared in an instant. Severe punishment is in order for children who don't listen. Time has come. Darkness will swallow you! Has come. Ha! I'll go. I'm ready. I'm finished. 
finished over here. I'll leave the rest for you to clean up. Time to see your so-called hunter skills. Fine! I'll show you! This is payback! My time has come. I'll go. I'm ready. Out of my way! It's finally over. Well, do you still want to treat me as just a girl? You sing, and you use magic. You really are a witch, huh? <laughs> Otto! Jeez, tell me if you're going for a walk. I looked all over for you. Wait, who's this girl? Uh, oh, we just met. Her name is... Leave your village. Huh? I'll say it again. Leave your village immediately. I will say no more. Wait! Mithra's a really nice place. The water and food are good. Everyone's so nice. It's not as big as other villages, but it's busy during festivals. You should stay over sometime. I know you'll just love it. You're not listening. I warned you. It's up to you whether or not you heed my words. Hey, wait! Where are you going? Goodbye. She just left us. Why'd she tell us to leave? <sighs> She's not from around here, is she? Are her clothes popular these days? Say, Lizette, can you sing? What? Don't be silly, Alto. Didn't we learn in Sunday school that people can't sing songs? We sure did. I have to get breakfast ready soon. Shall we head home? Yeah. Hey, the town hall is off limits. Don't let the children outside. Don't use the well either. Boil our stock of rainwater if you need it. What's all the commotion? Over there! What? What is. Oh my. Lizette, Alto, we told you this place is off limits. What's going on there, Bogan? It looks like someone's trapped inside stone. Last night? Otto went on a hunt and didn't come back. We formed a search party and found him in the North Forest. So this... is Mr. Otto? It's just as it looks. We don't even know if he's alive in there. Is it a plague? Or some curse? Maybe the North Forest is to blame. Mr. Otto, I got it! What if we smash this stone with an axe? We already tried. Blade or axe can break this stone. Then we need to find other ways! Calm down. I'll let you know when we decide what to do. Go home to Rosa. And don't leave the house until we give permission. But... Alto, these are your mayor's orders. Sorry, but if there's anything I can do... I'll be sure to call. You're the best hunter here, after all. Look after him, Lizette. I will. 
I'm sure the mayor will have everything figured out. I hope so. At any rate, shall we go home? I'm sure mom is worried. Yeah. Where were the both of you? I was so worried. I thought maybe you'd been hurt, or worse. Like Otto. We're sorry. Our neighbor Mina's probably crying. And her brother was just born too. Damn it. Why'd it have to be Mr. Otto? This misfortune isn't anyone's fault. There's nothing we can do right now. I know that. But it isn't fair. I'm heading to the North Forest. I forbid it, Alto. Miss Rosa. You're too sensitive to other people's suffering. It's great that you can sympathize, but as your family, it worries me. You mustn't take it all in. That pain would control you otherwise. <laughs> Mom! Alto! Let's eat! The... Where'd that come from? I feel like we'd lose to this negativity if we mope around. Since we can't leave the house, let's at least be happy in it. <laughs> You're right. That's it for this matter, then. Let's whip up something real quick. Alto, you help too. Those who don't work, don't eat. You can peel the potatoes. I'll be making potatoes au gratin. Purple ones, right? Hmm. I don't make food for meanies. That should do it. I'll have to apologize to Lizette later. Apologize to whom about what? Yeah. And just where are you going so late at night? I, I'm just going out for some fresh air. Wearing all that exploration gear? When you were told not to go out? Uh, <laughs> you always act on impulse when it's about helping other people. It's both the good and bad thing about you. I can't just sit around here. I know how you feel. But let's leave it to the mayor and his staff. If he feels he needs your help, he'll tell you. Your trip will be for nothing if you become too exhausted to help him. But... Alto. All right. I give up. Good. You can head back to your room already. No. I don't trust you, so I'm bunking with you tonight. Huh? No, it's fine. I... Scoot over. Don't I have any rights? You say something? Nothing. At all. Do you remember the last time we slept next to each other? The summer festival two years ago, I think. I ate way too much. I knocked out that night. And you got mad at me the next morning. I remember. Hey, Alto. Wanna hold hands? W why are you asking? Well, the night of the festival, we slept holding hands, didn't we? I just remembered that. Did that happen? So you forgot then? N no, I remember. Why, yes, I remember it well. All right. Give me your hand. Feels like it's been a while. Yeah. Good night, Alto. Night, Lizette. A small but happy village. It's almost picturesque. Agreed. But it's all the more reason we do this, yeah? Indeed. Make your preparations, Dante. We'll begin as soon as day breaks. Understood. May your song echo throughout the land. <laughs> 